So in this episode, in this, <laughs> whatever, what I'm doing right now is I'm setting up the measuring experiment to measure heat loss. And I will show what I have in the basket. Uh, obviously I have this uh, heater. Uh, it's like a kilowatt plus electric heater. I have electric uh, power coming from the house. Uh, I have this uh, smart plug which can measure power draw. An extension cord, that's pretty obvious. Okay, everything else is just entangled with one another. Uh, Raspberry Pi with uh, three temperature sensors. I marked them with some um, uh, colored paper and uh, tape so I can tell them apart and figure out which one was where. It would probably be obvious on the graph, right? The, the low temperature is outside, the high is inside, but still. All right, this contraption. Uh, ooh, it's dirty. Um, this is my old Wi-Fi access point, and it's required because this um, this plug is wireless. It can track data, but uh, I cannot connect to it uh, with a cable. So I need the Wi-Fi and. This thing, it has a Wi-Fi, but uh, I tried turning this into a router, like a Wi-Fi router, and the connection is very unstable. So I guess wh whatever is inside just does not work very well with this particular uh, plug model. But this works well. And then I have a power adapter for the Raspberry Pi. And I've got my tiny little laptop to test everything and check the graphs before I leave it for the night. Turn everything on basically. All right, now I'm gonna be setting things up. see we have three temperature sensors and we have our current power and toll power all on the same graph uh, I know that doesn't really make sense because as soon as I turn this thing on you will see the current power just skyrockets and we won't be able to see temperature anymore but I put it like this just to test please and um, I'll turn it off for the night. It doesn't matter what is on the graph. The important part is uh, recording data so I can look at it later. Let's test that the power is recording. Turning on. And we have power consumption uh, about a kilowatt and 250 watts or something like that and that's it the toll power will slowly rise and the current power it shows the immediate use at the moment For the temperature, I'll set on this thing um, 72. 
bigger the difference, I guess the more reliable numbers we'll get. some bad news looks like the heater it doesn't really feel the temperature or it cannot switch itself on and off it's either always running or it's not running at all so I'm coming inside to see if I can fix that probably not but we'll see so right now it says here 67 um, but I did set it to, I think, 60, okay, anyway, it says 67. Now it turns on. But when the temperature was inside was like 75 plus, it was still running even though I set it to 72 or something like that. So I'm really not sure if it's reliable in that sense. Yeah, I don't know. I'll uh, sit here for a little bit just to look at the grass but it's kind of late so I probably will go to bed soon it went down it went down the temperature is going up this thing went down what the hell this thing is glitchy as hell look at this so as soon as the heater turns off the temperature just crashes down so that's what it means no insulation plus chunks of exposed metal let's have a look at the fan from the outside uh, i have a little camera that can show us what's going on in terms of temperature and i'll just leave it like that 67 setting and we'll we'll see in the morning what happens Interesting. The road is the warmest. The sky is the coldest. The van. I don't know how to actually check the temperature of the van. You can see there's a slight warm line at the top. But I otherwise just uh, kind of all the same temperature okay this way we should be able to see the outside of the van well it says 12 degrees so not really much warmer than the ground which is 11 surprising but maybe it's already cold inside. Good morning to myself. thing worked at all let's see what's going on there the van is still here <laughs> that's a good part not stolen cables in place not cut let's try to listen the heater is working I can hear the hum okay interesting 
interesting. Oh, I don't want I don't want to make noise. This door is super noisy. Maybe I can try the other one. I turned the temperature down to 67 it was running the whole night no matter how hot it got inside <laughs> it was running 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 and right now it says it's 64 so this temp the, the thermometer in this thermostat and this thing is completely messed up uh, but we got some data, right? We can use that. I'm dumb. I turned everything off in the van and forgot to take the computer with the data out of it. All right, so we have a bunch of numbers. Numbers, 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 numbers. Let's see if we can recreate the graphs, right? Here's me finishing editing on this episode and realizing that I messed up and I don't have the final part of the video where I explain what numbers I got, so <laughs> I'll re-record this part. Alright, here's the final chart with the crunched numbers. At the bottom you see the three different temperatures and on the same graph I plotted power to temperature difference uh, ratio, uh, which basically shows how much power you need per one degree of difference between the outside and the inside in the van right now as it is uninsulated. And here the number first was a little higher and dropping down as the van was heating up and reaching a state of balance with the outside environment. And when it did reach the balance, the number I got is, I think it oscillates around 103, 106, so we can average that to like 105 watts per degree. Essentially that means that, uh, let's say you want 20 degrees Celsius inside, which is roughly 72 F, right? And outside, let's say, is 10 degrees Celsius, which is I don't know how much <laughs> Fahrenheit, but uh, for this temperature difference, you would need to constantly dump one kilowatt of power in the van to keep it at the desired temperature, which is pretty bad. So over the night time, this van you know, would consume eight kilowatts of uh, power just to keep uh, keep you warm and that's if outside is just 10 degrees which is mild cold it's not like winter time it's spring actually here in the bay area sometimes even in summer outside can go down to 10 degrees during the night um, so yeah pretty bad numbers but as expected with no insulation so in the next episode I'll be figuring out uh, what to do with insulation, where to put it. Uh, I have not decided, maybe I will start with the floor first because uh, putting insulation on the walls then raising the floor might kind of interfere. Uh, but that's the rough plan. So thank you for watching and see you sometime, maybe never. <laughs>